Hey traders, it's Stanley here from Pepperstone, bringing you the latest from markets on the move. Today, let's talk about copper. So lately, commodities have been on fire and copper is actually leading the charge. It's been climbing for six days, rallying about 7.4% as of yesterday's close, while our safety prices at Pepperstone are now hitting levels not seen uh, back to January last year, and the RSI is firmly in the overbought territory. So um, what's fueling this copper frenzy? And who's calling shots? Supply or demand? Plus, what's the latest on the risk front? Stick around, let's break it down. Zooming out a bit, we've noticed copper shaking things up since mid of February after some sideways movement earlier this year. Looking at the big picture, everyone's now betting on fat rate cuts this year. If that happens, the US dollar might take a hit, making copper price in greenbacks more appealing to, um, I would say, the global bias. That's giving copper prices a nice boost. Against the backdrop of rate cuts, the underlying logic behind this price movement still remains in um, the supply and demand dynamics. So um, firstly, on the supply side, copper production isn't exactly booming. For example, Peru, a major copper hub, kicked off this year with a 60-day state of emergency up north. Then um, we've got First Quantum shutting down their copper Pahama mine, and James like Glencore and Vale missing production targets. The power situation in DRC and Zambia is also cause for concern. On top of that, China, the copper kingpin, is facing disruptions in mining, maintenance snacks, and cost collapsing um, in their smelter in quarter two. Now, demand-wise, things are looking up. Manufacturing is picking up steam worldwide, especially in the US, China, and Germany. Plus, I would say copper is the, um, the, like, the poster child of the energy transition. At COP28, over 60 countries pledged to double global renewable energy capacity by 2030, which means more copper demand down the road. Um, with demand outstripping supply, no wonder that copper prices are riding high. In a nutshell, loosening monetary policies in developed market, a global manufacturing rebound, the energy transition push and um, supply constraints are driving copper prices north. While I'm betting we'll see copper continue its upward trend in April, but keep an eye out on the US CPI data. If inflation heats up, it could throw a wrench in fast rate cut plans and put a lead on copper's rally. Um, I mean, whether from the perspective of the US dollar being supported or um, the longer duration of tightening environment. Any signals of drawdown in China's corporate inventories may also change the game. While in the longer term, there's potential for, um, for significant prices increase should a robust cyclical recovery materialize at any point. So um, that's pretty much for this video. Stay tuned with Pepperstone for more insights and updates.